Hello everyone, this is Sandra from Wallerfire.com and WhimsyDreamsClipart.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how easy you can change uh, the look of the pre-made uh, Photoshop logo templates that I have listed in the Whimsy Dreams shop. So, uh, these logos are perfect for any brand that are like bohemian, vintage vibe uh, kind of uh, business and that have, you know, want to um, look great online. So, even if you are a beginner with a Photoshop and Photoshop elements, I will be showing you some tips and tricks to make this process super easy. So, this, uh, these logo templates are made with layers and you see all the layers here on the layers panel. If you don't see the layers panel, you can go to a window and layers or press F7 for a shortcut. And then the layer panel we show here on, on the right side. Um, this, these templates are transparent, but for the purpose of this um, video, I'm going to show it with white as it is quite hard to change elements and stuff like that and see what you're really doing with a transparent background. And a transparent background is this checked background. You know, this is how a transparent a file look like and when you uh, export this file the <laughs> checked uh, pattern here in the background will of course not be shown this is just for you to know that the background is transparent but if you want to activate a background you go to the background layer here and activate it by uh, clicking on the eye and you find all the links to these specific fonts uh, with the purchase so it's super easy i recommend that you install the fonts before you start working with your logo uh, otherwise there will be a, a simple font here and it says oh the font is missing or something like that but if you have installed the fonts first then the font will appear uh, like this when you open up your photoshop file you can of course change the text or this uh, to your business name or to your personal name or whatever you want your uh, logo to say. So you just go to your name here with a T and activate it. You can do so by going to the T here, which means text tool. And then you can highlight it like this and just delete. like this all this you can of course change the tagline as well then you activate the tagline here and just highlight it and write something like this and of course you can change the colors as well and you do so by double clicking on this uh, layer th thumbnail here and this is for the butterfly uh, double click it and this color picker tool will appear and you can just drag it here and you see how easily you can change the color of uh, the element you can also just import a hex code here so you can get your specific branding color easily and you do the same here if you want to change the name color of the name itself like this and the tagline like this text often change the look of the logo it's also super simple to change the sizing of the elements or the positioning of the elements themselves sometimes when you change the text or your name here the logo changes totally you know the look of it so you can of course move the elements around and change say the size of it so if i go to this butterfly i think this butterfly is too small or something like that you activate the butterfly and then you press Ctrl T 
to activate a bounding box and then you just can drag the corners here to change the sizing of it like this and be sure to center it again and you can also move your name here activate the layer with your name i recommend using the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to make it you know <laughs> it's it's easy to to make two large adjustments so you can move it around like this and you can also uh, click the text tool activate it like this and change the size of your text as well to fit your style or your needs the same goes of course with the tagline you activate the move tool your tagline here is activated make sure and just use the arrow keys like this up and down and as you see i have made this white border around and that's just to make you know that you can enlarge your elements the way you really need them to and I recommend stepping away for a while and getting back to your logo and just see if it's perfect, you know. Uh, try to applicate your logo uh, on, say, a letterhead or something and step away for 10 minutes and go back and check it again. In that way, you can see all those fine details and what you need to adjust to make it perfect. And remember to always center your objects before you uh, before you export it and you do so by using the marquee tool when you are exporting your uh, logo please make sure that uh, this background layer here is turned off so you get this beautiful transparent background that you need when you are going to applicate it on your things and you export it here by going to file export say if it's for web you can save it for web here or export as like this and go to PNG transparency and here you can change the uh, size of it and stuff like that you can also do save as and like this choose PNG and yeah you know the drill so it's super simple and I love these uh, logo template as you can customize them perfectly for your needs and it's a quick fix and you know something that you really can do even if you are not super into Photoshop I promise you and click butterfly move to and center and your name center and tagline center now you're ready to print this beauty and if you have any questions or need any help i'm always here and you find all the contacts below in the description and you find the links to the logo section in my shop if you want to check all the logos uh, and yeah you know i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you and if you have any other questions please let me know